Welcome to the KXW 88.9 FM. Welcome all the listeners on the radio. It's a thrill to have these two legends here on the barn dance tonight. They're original rock bands from the 50s. I've heard our guitarist, Mr. Gary Lambert. And Mr. Jeff Lambert. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Dylan's been doing one of the songs for many years in the show, and it was so cool of Dylan to have him do the show with him about a month and a half ago. It's an honor to have him here tonight. Put your hands together for Mr. Glenn, the legendary Mr. Glenn Glenn! There's here tonight. Here's one down the line. Goes like this. Why you can't be my lover, baby? If you ain't got the style, we're gonna get in some we're gonna love. We'll drive a cool cat wild. We're gonna move. We'll move on down. I do right, I do right all the time Gonna show you you're not so hot We're gonna get what she ain't got She be sweet, won't do me wrong She be cool and twice as gone I'm gonna move, I move on down the line We're gonna do right, do right all the time We're gonna move on down the line I'm gonna get some love and that's truly fine She'll be sweet, won't do me wrong. She'll be cool and twice as gone. I'm gonna move, I move on down the line. We're gonna do right, do right all the time. Get 
some love and that's truly fine To be sweet won't do me wrong To be cold and twice the phone I'm gonna move I'm moving down the line I'm gonna do right, do right all the time I'm gonna do right, do right These are some discs we got tonight, Glenn Glenn discs. We got over here, I think they're $15. They're, they cost 18 in the store, so. <laughs> well, that's a deal, then. That's a deal. And we got some pictures, I think, for 2 or $3 over there, if anybody wants anything. Glenn, are you making Mary sell all that stuff? Are you putting well, your wife to work over there? Yeah, my wife. That's how I get, uh, she, she sells all this stuff for me. All right. And um, this is for Ronnie Mac, uh, this one. Thanks, bud. Here's one of our records, one called I'm Glad My Baby's Gone. Goes like this. One of our records from 1958. That's where most of you guys were born, probably. <laughs> here from the LA Weekly. We want to mention him. And Steve Water, my buddy, who plays with me at the House of Blues. One well, I shouldn't mention that place. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack Sugar Shack. But, but Steve Water is here, and they play with us when we do other gigs. House of Blues. <laughs> But it is good. You know, I want to tell you a story, a true story. Real. In fact, Gary should even tell it. He's a good at telling stories. In the 50s, Elvis Presley so lived for about a year and a half at the Knickerbocker. And you can see that. That's, that's yep. that right behind this Jack Sugar Shack. That's right. And on this wall back here, the other side of the wall used to be a... Like a Denny's, uh, 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 they, uh, you could go and have breakfast and all night long place. It's called the Copper Kitchen. What's that? Okay, you tell them, Gary. 
You tell if you know about it. <laughs> but anyway, to make a long story short, we tried to get Elvis to go out, but you couldn't get him to go out because there's always 200 girls in front of the Nickelbarker all the time. But his band, Scotty Moore and Bill Black and Gary and me, we'd go over in the nighttime have a hamburger over here, right on the other side of that wall. <laughs> I thought that was sort of nice. At the Who paid, though, Glenn? We had to play because Elvis didn't pay his band very much. Oh, <laughs> Elvis made a million dollars a year, or a, a movie, and he paid Scotty and Bill $150 a week. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Gonna buy them a hamburger. Oh, that's right. He only paid them $135. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's rough. That is rough. Yeah. Well, we still love Elvis. He started it all, didn't he? Sure he did. Uh, we, we had a lot of good times with him. He, he used to have a lot of parties over there, sort of like we're having tonight. A lot of people, you know, and all. Just like Jack Sugar Shack, Elvis always had parties over here at the Knickerbocker. <laughs> but anyway, here's one of our records called Blue Jeans. It's about a young girl with blue jeans and a boy shirt. It goes like this. She's mine. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, she's fine. Well, at the record hop sign, the driving show, she's always ready to rock and roll. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, she's mine. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, she's done. When we kiss, she just don't get enough. Well, she's sweet 16, a teenage queen, the sweetest chick well, you've ever seen. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, sure she's mine. All the guys want to take her out, but it just can't be done. She tells all the guys that well, I'm the only one of them. Blue jeans and a boy shirt, sure she's mine. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, sure she's fine. The driving show, she's always ready to rock and roll. Well, in a blue jeans and a boy shirt, she's mine. songs in the 50s too. In fact, this is one of our records. This is the first girls song of the 50s. This is one of my records too. Before Buddy Holly did Peggy Sue, or before Richie Valance did Donna, of course they sold a lot more records than I did. A lot bigger starters than I am. But but anyway, our record, one of our records called, no, we was going to do Lorianne, but how about Kathleen? It's about a teenage girl. <laughs> You'd rather hear Lorianne than Kathleen? I told you, it's your song, man. They love to hear it. You wrote it yourself. The only reason that record wasn't a hit is because well, you get out of the service to go over and do it on bandstand, right? That's right. We were supposed to do this on the Dick Clark show when I was in the Army in Hawaii. Yeah. And I got shafted, not drafted. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> and my cook was a carpenter. You know why? Because he, he kept feeding his stuff on shingles all the time. <laughs> But anyway, we'll do Lorianne then, okay? Yeah, all right, here's Lorianne. For all the good looking girls, man, and pretty boys. <laughs> Sweet 
that you're using tonight that's on a CD? It is. This was from 1958, this picture, right? This picture was taken at the Civic Auditorium in Honolulu, Hawaii, on stage July 18th. Oh, that was, that's today. Today's July 18th. That's the, that's the day this picture was taken. So that's what? Uh, 36 years? Today. Wow. This is, huh? There's a picture of Elvis inside, so you got the Maddox Brothers and Rose on here too. Yeah. And of course, Gary Lambert, Ralph Mooney's on here, and Wynn Stewart's on here too. Wow. See, don't forget that Glenn was the teenage part of the Maddox Brothers show. That's right. 
This is true. Oh, so anyway, you can pick one of these up. Just go see Glenn or one of the uh, Glenn's wife, Mary, or so over here at the table if you'd like to um, help pay some gas fare home for Glenn. <laughs> it's all for good too. That's right. Check it out.